All right, everyone. This is the inside of the trailer that we have for sale. It's a completely done up interior with uh, various modifications. And um, it's a, a unique trailer in that it, it is fully self-sufficient, meaning that it has lithium batteries in there and can run um, with basically that for quite a time. Um, we've already talked about the solar panels that are above the roof. Provides about 500 watts total, and that's sufficient to keep everything sort of charged. Inside the trailer, we have aluminum walls. So these are aluminum walls. The ceilings are panels. So the paint on panels. We have a 9.5 kilowatt BTU air conditioner. Um, on the lithium batteries, you can run this about eight hours during the day and about 12 hours at night with fully charged batteries. The lights are 12 volts and they are set up throughout the trailer. There's vents at the top and also at the, uh, the bottom. You have receptacles in the rear and you have two in the front. There is a uh, Craftsman main toolbox and two cabinets. Cabinets open up this way. Beneath that you'll find the two uh, SFK 260 lithium batteries combined. They provide about seven, about 6.8 to about 6.8 kilowatts, but in, our, in my test, closer to seven. So quite a bit of power. You have your inverter system, which is your solar panel, charger, and inverter all in one. So you can charge your batteries, uh, discharge your batteries, and also converse the solar panel power to keep everything set up. You can turn the inverter functionality on or off over here. And if you do that, it'll also supply your trailer with 120 volts. There's a cutoff switch for your solar panels. So if you ever wanted to disconnect your solar panels, you can do that and they'll disconnect your solar panels. We got your main panel here, starting with the temperature. It has an external and uh, internal temperature. Then you've got your main panel, which lets you turn off the switches. So if we wanted to, we could switch off things here or there. So. This is your motion sensor slash heat sensor. So you can keep your lights off and as soon as you walk in the trailer, if it detects you, it will automatically turn all your lights on for you. Then you've got your voltage monitor on the light left. You have your basic sort of um, you know, holder for your AC. Two receptacles in the bottom as well as a vent. This also has 12 volt output for like a cigarette butt or any 12 volt accessory, as well as two five amp capable USB. I'm sorry, two, 2 2.1 amp five volt USB. You also have a supplement USB and you also have a wireless phone charger on here. The top store is also set up. It can basically be used to hold additional items. So you can have this sort of setup on the top. We then have uh, nine tie downs that you can use to hold cargo. We also have these removable shelves. They're very easy to operate. Self locking brackets basically take it, pull it up. You can see you've got three of these brackets that hold in place. We then also have support legs at the top that add additional bracing. If you take this off, lower this this way, we can then bolt it down using one of these bolts.
And once you have that, you have a, you have a positive lock from the top and the bottom. And when you do both sides, basically the system is fully secure. Um, these shells will hold up to 800 pounds as long as they're spread out. So they're quite strong. You have two shells opened up. They will leave about a two foot gap so you can still walk back and forth and lift items. And when you're done with the shelf, simply unbolt it, press up on these three and the shelf will collapse so it will go back down to uh, the regular level. <clears throat> There's a carpet on the bottom portion and aluminum trim throughout the trailer. Um, this is a uh, carbon dioxide fire extinguisher. Um, it's not included with the sale, but can be if you need it. Um, we actually do need it in our other trailer. So if this is something that you'd like to have, we can uh, figure out what it would be to, to get that. <clears throat> the uh, Craftsman doors will not open when locked. So the only way to open them up is to release this lock. And once you do that, you have access to your thing. So this is very secure. It's not going to open up during transport. The lithium batteries can be monitored by any smartphone or tablet. You can see, right now it tells you it's got 54% remaining, and there's two of them. So you can see the status of what's going on. You can see how much power they're producing and whatnot. And you can go back and you can see there's two of them. So there's one and two. And you can connect to the one that you want and uh, you know see the status. So it'll work with iOS, it'll work with Android. And like I said, with the sun coming in or out, sometimes it'll be charging, sometimes it'll be discharging. So depending on what's going on, you can sort of see. Okay, um, next video, we'll show you how the security camera system works so that you have an idea of how that works and how you can monitor and also protect your items within the trailer.